things around for you? Uh, yeah. <coughs> uh, he just told me to slow down. Um, we won a game so bad. Um, the energy in the building and how we were trying to get back, call our way back into it defensively. That affected my offensive game. I was just rushing a little bit, um, not being decisive with my shots. And uh, it was a nice little pep talk, get my confidence, and just come out in the second half and just try to try to make plays. Um, all the way down the, the roster tonight, everybody made an impact on the game, and it was uh, it was a fun night in front of our home fans to take care of business and give ourselves new life going into a game seven. So it was fun. Anthony Slater with the Athletic for both of you. How much of the strategy tonight was just push, push, push at all times? And, and why do you think it, that's been an issue in maybe the, the last few games? And uh, just how important was it to just quicken the pace? It's important because we uh, that's how we play. <clears throat> the, the key is to not foul and not turn the ball over. When that happens, the pace slows down and kind of gets you know where they want it. Uh, they get a little bit of rest and, and set up their offense. and. Um, if we you know, make or miss, if we push and just be smart with the ball, good things will happen. Guys will find open shots, and for the most part of the game, after those first seven, eight minutes, we, uh, we figured it out. Gene McCauley from AP. What do you, um, Clay just said he is made for this, born for this, to, to do this in big games. Um, what do you both remember from that 2016? <laughs> <laughs> what do you both remember from the 2016 game <laughs> at Oklahoma City? <laughs> I think we both blocked that whole year out of our memory. <laughs> this is for uh, Kevin Rick Tittle, 95-7 the game. After the slow start in the first quarter, it, it seems to me when you got that block, it kind of re-energized your game. Do you feel that too? Yeah, for sure. Um, you know, they came out knocking down shots early, and... Um, you know, I felt like we had some good looks to, to start the game, especially myself that um, didn't fall. And so I just tried to stay in the game, stay engaged. And that was a huge play for me personally to kind of keep, you know, keep me going a bit. And, uh, you know, I thought our crowd fed off of it and our team did as well. So uh, just continue to make plays when you're not making shots and, you know, stay in the game somehow. That's one of your RBs, Sacramento coming to observe. This is a question for both of you, Kevin and Steph. What's it like playing with uh, Jordan Bell? I mean, he's running around. He doesn't look like he missed uh, many defensive assignments. He, does he really make you guys feel comfortable out there with the minutes that he gets? He, he's a confident guy. That's, uh, that's one thing about him that's consistent. Um, whether he's in the rotation or not, um, I think he's real observant, trying to figure out uh, you know, when, when his moment's called, how he can make an impact. And, I think he's just fearless. Uh, as a rookie coming in in this type of environment, uh, you can kind of go into your shell a little bit. And he didn't have a, a, an issue with that at all. And, and so, when Coach, uh, his confidence to throw him out there, you know, whether he gets a stop, makes the right pass, makes a mistake, whatever it is, he always tries to find a way to, 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 to keep playing hard. And um, can't say enough about a rookie in that type of situation. Similar to, to Pat last year, uh, the way that he, he stepped up. So doing it in different ways, and it's great to have him. One for both of you guys, Mark Schwartz, ESPN. Steph, Steve was in here earlier kind of giving some insight about why Clay does have the ability to perform like this when you're down three games to two. He says it's because he just wants a hoop. He's so comfortable with his own skin, he doesn't really have, he doesn't think about anything like that. How much of that is responsible for his ability to come up so huge? And that's why he is who he is, and, and uh, yeah, he's just kind of numb to the to the environment. I know he's he's excited to, to play basketball, whether it's game two or you know, game game two of the regular season or game six of the Western Conference Finals. But um, just he's confident in himself and what he what he can do out on the floor on both ends. And uh, he's never seen a shot he doesn't like. So um, when you have that kind of recipe mixed in, good things do happen usually at the right time. You have another question for Kenny? Okay. Back to you. Appreciate that. Thanks for having my back. Um, Kevin, everyone's focusing on the nine three balls, but 
how would you explain how he could, you know, make nine three-point shots and still have the, the, the conditioning to stay with James Harden, the MVP, up and down the court for 40 minutes? Uh, well, he's a top-level athlete. Um, he got good genes. You should thank his dad and his mom for that. <laughs> um, being able to have that type of stamina um, to make shots and play good defense. And, but it also just comes from him just loving the game, him loving to play, loving these moments. And uh, he just took full advantage of it. And, uh, you know, it's uh, definitely inspiring to every basketball player out there that, you know, Clay uh, continues to just love to play every single day, no matter what. He still has that childlike joy for it. And I think tonight showed a lot on both ends of the floor. Mark Spears undefeated. For both of you guys, just talk about the challenge of going to a place where they haven't been to the finals in, since 95. You guys trying to get back the pressure, the challenge, just everything that comes with trying to get this victory on Tuesday on the road. We gave ourselves a shot tonight and, and uh, hope we can carry that momentum over. Um, you know, game one down there, Played a solid 48 minutes. We got a win. Game two was totally opposite, um, and game five was came down to the wire. So we, we know how to play well in that building, and just got to be laser focused from the jump. Um, I guarantee if we start the game out like we did tonight, and they jump out to the lead, it's going to be 10 times harder to try to you know make it a game. So for us, that's our challenge: is to have the same mentality we had for the last 36 minutes of tonight and bring that you know from the jump. Uh, Game seven, but it's it's gonna be fun. That's what you uh, what you play for to be in a situation where you're one win away from going to the finals. Uh, it's pressure both ways because of how big the moment is, and gotta want it. Last one for Monty on the right. Well, no, I'm, I have for Kevin. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, it's a, a great opportunity for both uh, for both teams to come out there and just play a great great brand of basketball. And I know for us, we gonna come out there and be ready to play from the start of the game. Um, we put ourselves in a position now to, to have one more game to try to get to the finals, get back to where we, where we want to get to. And, uh, you know, I think guys are ready for it. So, you know, we're looking forward to going down there and, you know, locking in and, you know, being who we are. You know, uh, can't wait to Tuesday. Monday. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he said both for either of you or both of you. Uh, Clay looked tonight. He was really uh, hyped up more than usual. He usually keeps a lid on himself, and you don't see a whole lot. But today he was jumping around. He was uh, yelling and screaming. I mean, is that unusual for you guys to see, or just something that you don't see that often? Even notice it. Yeah, great reason to be that excited tonight. So I like that fire, that energy when you know he's engaged and um, appreciating what he's bringing to to the game. So um, whether it's a subtle little fist pump for him jumping up and down or whatever it is, um, when he, when he's animated, that that's that's good for us um, as a team to kind of you know, keep our foot on the gas, but on keep keep pushing and him doing his part for sure. Great, thank you. Arden's on his way in. <laughs>